Hello, I'm going to show how to hook up a, uh, a Chamberlain MyQ uh, for LiftMaster. It works on almost any garage door. Um, it's already unboxed, of course. Um, and I have a Wink Home Security, no, excuse me, Home Automation System. Um, and so what Wink's going to do is simply tie in the, uh, the Chamberlain MyQ uh, cloud system uh, over into the Wink app. So I, I have the you can see up above there is the uh, the Wink Hub, but it has nothing to do with it. All the Wink Hub does is hook together door sensors, um, Zigbee and Z-Wave stuff, light bulbs, Zigbee light bulbs. But on stuff like this in the Nest, you just use um, th there's a connection between the Wink servers and the Ch Chamberlain servers or the Nest servers to, to make it all happen. I'm going to set up the Wi-Fi now. Just plugged in the uh, the MyQ uh, wireless hub. Um, the Wi-Fi hub basically has Wi-Fi. It's going to con connect to my Wi-Fi. But to do the setup first, you need some type of device, either um, some type of Android device or uh, Apple device. Um, I'm just using the instructions off the yellow card. Going to go to Wi Fi and this says look for my Q and um, not there. Oh, there we go, third one down. It's going to say, uh, my Q BBE. I'm going to select that. So basically, it's going to disconnect me from from my Wi-Fi. And um, now we're connected. Next, I'm going to go over to the browser. I've already entered in the information to make it easier. There we go. So now, essentially, what I'm doing is I'm talking to probably like a you know, a small, tight Unix oper uh, Linux operating system in there with a display and a web page. So, it's asking me which one I want to connect up to. Renegades of Funk. So I'm shooting this in 2015. This model is 2013. I just bought a used one off of eBay. And um, it's going to ask for my password and some other information. On the back of the hub, there's a uh, there's a code back there that I'll have to enter in. I'm not going to show that online. Uh, try to keep things secure or this part of it. All right. Comes back with the next question. Solid green. Solid green. Now, I'm going to download it here. I'll have to also download it to my phone here at some point in time. So this is where the important part of home security comes in. Uh, you don't want to skimp on, you got to treat it like it's your bank. Um, I do that with all the, the home automation systems. You want long passwords uh, that's hard to break. Uh, you don't want to reuse them anywhere if you can. Um, granted, if someone's going to break into the house, they're going to just break into the house and it's not going to be some guy over in Russia uh, hacking to make my um, my garage door go up and down but you don't want to make it easy either well the setup was a little more pain in the butt um, basically after you register it sends you an email link um, go through the email link and add it um, which takes you back in to verify your password in the initial setup and you have to put in the security number which is on the back of the yellow card or the um, back of the unit itself and then it, it took it didn't recognize it online right away and I just waited a, a few seconds so probably something in their servers and stuff takes a little bit to update this there's I don't have any devices set up on my account tip Tap the plus sign to add more. Um, so add new device. 
garage door opener. <laughs> Are you using a door sensor? So yeah, I am. Uh, I'm going to go through and just reprogram. Um, just hit settings. Um, my home. Garage door opener. Uh, if I need to reset the, the door sensor, which is over there, that has the battery in it, I can do that, but I've already done it. Um, select and program an opener. Alright, so we're back to the setup again. Uh, brand and make, tap. Alright, color of the button. I just talked about it's either orange or red. Kind of looks like orange to me. So we'll try that one. And um, color's orange. Program the opener. So it says it's going to take several minutes to go for this to happen. Warning the garage door is going to go up and down. Um, on the garage door opener, press and hold the button until. The LED turns on and release. So I've pressed the button. Essentially what's happening is between the MyQ hub, which is just the you know, garage door opener with a uh, Wi-Fi in it and a low frequency connection to the, uh, the sensor is basically pairing between the garage door opener and, and the hub. And programming failed. That's green. Alright, on the garage door opener, press and hold the program button until the LED turns on, then release. So, can't see it, but... Alright, pretty sure that was long enough. Still, no go. All right, what I had to do was get right up next to it. I had to put this right up here, right there next to it to make this work. Even though I was down here on top of my mini, wasn't close enough. So pr simply press that button once, the light comes on, go through the app again. And once it finally pairs up, the garage door comes up. All right, so next is hit continue. Name the garage door opener uh, for easy use. I'm just going to leave it that, like that right now because I only have that garage door. Uh, it's been moving for 37 seconds, open for one minute. So I've got the, got the hub mounted. The uh, MyQ Chamberlain app sees it. So press that. It's pretty quick response from the cloud. Opening for uh, 21 seconds. All right. Net CZ's been open. 
to come back down from the cloud to my app. So now I know my door is open. Next thing I'm going to do is integrate this into my Wink home automation system. And I'll be able to do some things with uh, some interesting things with that. Let's go over to the Wink app. So there I got a living room light on, a garage light on. Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to go I'm gonna add new products here. The only one there is Chamberlain. They used to have another, I forgot, I think it was, I uh, can't remember what it was. Could be wrong. There's a little app, uh, video here that makes it seem easier than it is. So I'm not going to play that. Um, I just hit next to skip it. But certainly watch it. Um, I have an account where you can get the MyQ app right there are the two options. But I'm just going to go, I have an account. I'm going to connect to my, uh, I'm going to connect to my account now. Okay, it's going to ask for my username and information. I'll pause here for a second. Okay, so I've given it my, uh, my information. I'm pretty sure this is stored at the, the Wink site. So Wink now, through their servers, are going to um, going to my Chamberlain servers, connecting in to see um, to the account that I already created on my Chamberlain. All right, so it was successful. Um, I can name the device, or I can just say get started. I'm just going to get started. Swipe your garage door to open and close. Got it. There we go. So I'm just going to open it now. There we go. So now, through the Wink app, it's going over to, Ch to the Wink servers to Chamberlain. Chamberlain, hopefully down to here. And um, it will open up. All right, opened one second ago. I can do robots off of this through, oh, through Wink. Um, essentially what I'm going to do is um, go up here to robots, new robot. Um, I'm going to name the robot, we're going to do something. We're simply going to go garage door when it closes. Um, so when the garage door when the garage door closes, any um, any time. Again, apologize for the all. So then the then part of the statement is I'm going to shut off the garage. Bam, that's right over here in the corner. So, and I'll show you the use case of why why I do that. And simply set it to off. Save. Done. What I've set up, I have a, a tripper on this door. So when I come to the garage, it turns on this GE LED light. That's the Zigbee control, Zigbee linked up to the the wing hub so when i come out to the garage in the middle of the night the light comes on for me um so i don't have to uh, switch the light on uh, um get in the car you know open up the garage door and back out when the garage door shuts essentially what we'll have is um you know the light will shut off so simple home automation use case 
uh, that works for me. The robot should shut the light off. There we go. So that's usual delay in uh, the cloud-based link application. Um, now when I open up the the door to the house, um, just the tripper uh, that's on the door is going to turn the light back on. Again, you can see about a four second delay. Alright, let's create a robot for when the door comes open. it will turn this light on at night. I'm just going to go new robots. I'm not going to name it this time. Um, so basically says when when door opens save um, next thing is like during the time of day um, and I can I can set specific times I'm just gonna go anytime for simplicity's sake but um, if I wanted only at night I can set the time parameters differently um, uh, for longer than which is optional but then the, the then final result on this one is to simply have the um, the light come on and it's already set to on I just press the save and press done it's saving it the robot's out there now. Let's go over to my light. I'm going to go and just sh shut this light off. There goes the light. So now what I'm going to do is take my garage door opener and um, open the garage like I'm coming home from the car. And eventually the light will come on. So hopefully by the time I get out of the car, there we go. So at night, uh, I've got a little bit more light on than just what's there um, on the uh, opening unit itself. Uh, nice little demonstration of some home automation there.